students i am manoj kundare the assistant professor of electronic science welcome back to our e learning platform in previous video we have seen the concept of four bit universal binary adder and subtractor the link of the previous video is available in the description box please check it now in this video we are going to see the concept of parity checker and generator first of all we have to know that what is mean by parity or what is parity bit the parity generating technique is one of the most widely used error detecting techniques for the data transmission in digital systems when the binary data is transmitted and processed the data may be subjected to noise so that such noise can alter zeros to ones and ones to zeros hence parity bit is added to the word containing data in order to make the number of ones either even or odd thus it is used to detect errors during the transmission of binary data that means here we can say that in digital data transmission the transmitter transmits its data towards the receiver the data is in the form of the binary numbers that means 101011 in like this form it is very simple that this one can alter to zero or the zero can be altered with one and if this alteration is done then the data may be corrupted okay for that purpose to identify the correct data the parity bit is added into the data and the parity bit parity bit means there is even parity and odd parity okay that means this data contains total number of ones 1 2 3 4 that means this data contains four number of ones hence it is of even parity this if this data contains again another one here then the total number of ones becomes 5 hence this data is becomes now of the odd parity i hope you all understand this technique here in parity bit technique it is used for to detect errors during the transmission of the digital data or the binary data now let's see the parity generator and checker circuit a parity generator is a combinational logic circuit that generates the parity bit in the transmitter on the other hand the circuit that checks the parity in the receiver is called as the parity checker that means in short we can say that the circuit which generates the parity bit in transmitter is called as the parity generator while the circuit which checks the parity bit in the receiver is called as the parity checker a combined circuit or devices for parity generators and parity checkers are commonly used in digital systems to detect the single bit errors in the transmitted data world the sum of the data bits and the parity bits can even or odd in even parity the added parity bit will make the total number of ones an even amount where as in odd parity the added parity bit will make the total number of ones odd amount that means for example if we have the data 10101 and we want to transmit this data towards the receiver then if we want to make the even parity then what says here in even parity the added parity bit will make the total number of ones an even amount okay here this data contains 1 2 3 that means 3 number of ones that means 3 is a odd number and we want to perform the even parity hence we have to add 1 into 8 to make the odd parity bit sorry the even parity bit now this is the parity bit and we place here 1 because we want to send this data with even parity if we want to send this data with odd parity then there is no requirement to place one here hence we put zero here here after placing zero the total number of ones becomes 3 and 3 is already an odd number 
Hence, there is no need to place one in the place of parity bit. I hope you all understand the concept here. Now, let's see the circuit parity generator. The parity generator is a combinational circuit at the transmitter. It takes an original message as an input and generates the parity bit for that message and the transmitter in this generator transmits the message along with the parity bit. That means the parity generator is a circuit which generates a parity bit with a required parity. There are two types of parity generator, E1 parity generator and second one is odd parity generator. Let's see first E1 parity generator. Let us assume that a 3 bit message is to be transmitted with an E1 parity bit. Let the three inputs A, B and C are applied to the circuits and the output bit is the parity bit P. The total number of ones must be E1 to generate the E1 parity bit P. Now let's see the truth table of the E1 parity generator. The figure shows the truth table of E1 parity generator in which one is placed as the parity bit in order to make all ones as E1 when the number of one is in the truth table is odd. That means consider here the first combination 0 0 0 here the total number of one is 0 hence there is no need to place one here okay in next combination the 0 0 1 the total number of one is one one is odd number to make it even we have to place another one here okay in next combination it also has only one number of one and this is the odd number to make it even we have to add one into it okay or the output is one here in next combination 0 1 1 1 sorry 0 1 1 there are two number of ones one and two two number of ones two is even number hence there is no need to place the parity bit hence the parity bit is zero in the next combination one zero zero only one number of one is here to make it even we have to place one parity bit okay similarly in this combination the total number of ones are two this is the even number hence there is no need to place the parity bit in the next combination also there are two number of ones two is even number hence there is no need to place one here in the last combination here the total number of ones is three one two three three is the odd number we want to make the even parity hence we have to place one into this place this makes the even parity i hope you all now understand how to draw the truth table for even parity generator now let's draw the k map for this y or the parity bit a b c this is the combination 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 a has the combination 0 and 1 y is equal to 1 for this a 0 0 1 a 0 0 1 for this okay the next one is 0 1 0 1 0 that means 0 1 0 the next one is 1 0 0 that means 1 0 0 and the next one is 1 1 1 1 1 1 this is the k map for this even parity bit in this k map all the four ones are of single type okay now let's simplify this k map the term associated with this one is a bar b bar c the term associated with this one is a bar b sorry term associated with this one is a bar b c bar term associated with this one is a b bar c bar and term associated with this one is a b c okay now try to find the common ones in the both terms a bar is common hence we get a bar in bracket b bar c plus b c bar 
in this terms the a is common hence we get a into bracket b bar c bar plus b c after simplification of this we know that b bar c plus b c bar is b x or with c and b bar c bar plus b c is b x nor with c okay after simplifying this we get a x or with b x or with c here we can simplify this because for consider b x or c is x hence we get here value a bar x plus a x bar and we know that a bar x and a x bar is can be written as a x or with x now by putting the value of x b x or c we get a x or b x or c i hope you all know understand how to simplify this k map now let draw the logic diagram for this equation here the line a b and c first of all there is xor operation between a and b hence this is the xor operation and then the xor operation between a bar b bar sorry a x or b and c this is the logic diagram for this equation i hope you all understand this diagram now let's see the next type odd parity generator let us assume that the three bit message is to be transmitted with an odd parity bit let the three inputs a b and c are applied to the circuits and the output bit is the parity bit p the total number of ones must be odd to generate the odd parity bit p let's see the truth table of it figure shows the truth table of odd parity generator in which one is placed as the parity bit in order to make all ones odd when the number of ones in the truth table is even that means for example here let's see the first combination here this combination in this combination the total number of ones are zero okay zero is even number to make it odd place one here okay let's see the next combination 001 the total number of one is one one is already an odd number hence there is no need to place the parity bit consider this combination here here the total number of ones are 2 2 is even number to make it odd we have to place one here now here we get the odd parity let's see this combination here the total number of ones are 3 3 is odd number hence there is no need to place the parity bit i hope you all now understand how to draw the truth table for the odd parity now let simplify the k map for this parity that means a b c 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 a has the combination 0 and 1 y is equal to 1 for 0 0 0 that means 0 0 0 next one is 0 1 1 that means 0 1 1 next one is 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the last one is 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 the remaining places has the value 0 0 here we get four single terms now let's simplify this k map okay here we get for this one we get a bar b bar c bar for this one we get a bar b c b c for this one we get a b bar c and for this one we get a b c bar now let's try to find the common terms in the first two terms a bar is common hence we get equation a bar in bracket b bar c bar plus b c in last two terms a is common hence we get a b bar c plus b c bar okay but b bar c bar plus b c is b x nor c 
and b bar c plus b c bar is b x or with c after simplificating this we get a x nor with b x nor with c i hope you all understand this concept now draw the logic diagram for the same draw a line this is b line and this is c line a x nor with b that means this is a x nor with b and it is x nor with c okay this is the final output y this is the logic diagram for the odd parity generator i hope you all understand this diagram thank you